All right, folks, today is the day. A couple months ago, I found a big class ring while I was out metal detecting. Perhaps you remember it. Um, I posted it on Facebook, and the post just went viral. It was shared like a thousand times and viewed over 50,000 times. It was absolutely insane. But through that, I was able to track down the owner, um, and he lived kind of far away. So I, I was kind of like, oh no, I'm gonna have to send it to him. I'm not gonna be able to experience the act of giving him the ring and seeing just the joy, you know? Um, but it just so happens that today he's in town for a family reunion so I'm about to go meet up with him and uh, give him his ring I'm very excited so I hope he's excited I don't know we'll see deep in the woods deep in the woods it was ringing real good oh my god <laughs> ten inches down ten inches down yeah. with a solid sound Mule shoe, mule shoe, you're so sweet. I'm gonna take you home with me. I dug it oh. up, I dug it up for my baby. But he doesn't want it, no. He says, go wash your hands. Look what I found on the ground for my baby. I bet I can track down the owner. I'm here at this restaurant. I'm about to meet up with the man who lost it. So. I figured I'd share this with all of you because it's probably one of the highlights of my time in the hobby. I did get a little bit of digging in today, so I'll go ahead and tag that on. Let's see if we can pull some more largies out of here, huh? All right, let's do this. Oh my gosh, I am in heaven right now. Alright, so in the past two videos, John and I have been to sites that we consider to have been hunted out. Um, so I decided today, I'd go to a site that we consider to be hunted out and see what I can find. At the first site, I found the two lardies. Second site, John found the Caps Bust Halftime. Um, so I'm here today, doing some digging. Took a couple holes already, haven't gotten much. Just got a part of a cute little gun. So not bad. Um, I'm back to digging everything on above 35. That's like semi-repeatable. Uh, but hopefully we get some today. Alright, just got my next hit. And it's part of a toy gun. <laughs> oh man. I guess it's gonna be a toy gun kind of day. 
All right, I just got a cute little baby spoon. It's broken in the hole, luckily. I didn't actually hit it. <laughs> but, um, very cute. All right, I just got kind of a fancy drawer pull. Oh, it looks like one. Maybe not, you know what? I think it might be set to a lantern. It's got fancy on it. I'll flip you around and show ya. Pretty cool. All right, got my first coin for the day. Hopefully not my last. 1923. Weedy. Nice green we need too. And I dropped it. Alright, I think my heart may have just stopped for a minute, and I'm gonna show you why. <laughs> Alright, I just got something that I think is gonna make my day. I'm gonna flip you around and show you. It's like a 46 signal. I haven't actually touched it yet. Could this be junk? Oh my goodness, look at that! I can't tell if the... Yeah, it's gold plated, whatever it is. Let's open it and check it out. Maybe! Oh, the suspense is killing me. It's not a locket. It's just a little thing. Just a little charm. But it's cute. I'll take it. All right, just got another pretty cool find. Still no coins, but um, this is neat. I'm gonna show you. You got the pocket knife. You guys know me in pocket knife. This has got fancy on it, maybe? Something there, definitely. I'm gonna clean it up with Hello Kitty. I'll get right back to you. Hey, there you have it. W. Ville Manufacturing Company, Waterbury. Cool. All right, so I've only got a couple more minutes. I'm being a lot less picky about my signals. Just got a really solid slam in 81, um, and I got a coin spell. So. It's modern, but hey, that's a quarter for the meter. I'll take it. Hey guys, before you go, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell.